Hi guys, I'm Nordain and welcome back to Nordain Vlog. Guys, today I need your full time watch in this video. If you are new, I need your one subscribe also because today's video can be the way of your success or achievement. The story which I'm going to share in this video might be an opportunity to learn about hard work, struggling journey, your goal, different different problems, people's coming in your life and many more. For that, if you want to give you one click to subscription button right down below, that can also be the part of my goal to help helpless people. If you don't want to subscribe, it's fine guys, enjoy it. So let's get started. Guys, everyone in this world, every single person in this world knows about Honda. For me, when I was like 9 or 10 years old, from that time I'm familiar with Honda. I guess not only me, because in my place, the first motorbike which I saw is Honda motorbike. And that was the only motorbike at that time that people saw and understood. Not only that guys, every vehicles, machinery equipments, engines and many other products belong to Honda company was the best and favorite for the people. Even today, we see the products of Honda company around us. But my question is, do you guys know that the old Honda is the name of a person? Because I did not know about this fact guys. Just yesterday, I found it while searching on Google. Maybe not only me, but many people don't know about this amazing fact. Many people are driving Honda bike and cars. But they even don't know that Honda is the name of a person. Yes guys, today in this video, I'm gonna share this powerful story of the Honda company. Guys, Honda company is one of the biggest automobile manufacturing companies in the world. And the story of Honda founder Soichiro Honda is very inspiring. Soichiro Honda was born in a small poor village in Japan. His father was a bicycle mechanic. Since childhood, Soichiro Honda has been an inquisitive person. He was very much attracted to making new things, towards tools and machines, and was very much curious related to cars, vehicles, like how cars and vehicles work and how they are made. Guys, Soichiro Honda was very weak in study and did not even like to go to school. Instead focusing on his study, he was more interested to repairing new machinery and his father's business bicycle repairing. As of 16, Soichiro Honda left his study and started working with his father at the cycle shop. And one day while he was reading newspaper, he saw a job ad in the newspaper where was some job vacancies for mechanics in Art Shokai company which company was repairing and maintaining vehicles. And he understood that's the biggest opportunity for him to improve his knowledge. Then Honda took the most complicated decision of his life. He left his place and went to Tokyo. He reached Tokyo safely, but there was nothing that he expected. The company refused to give him a job because he was so young at that time. But he got another option to work as an intern. Guys, for that post, he was not getting any money. Without salary, working many hours was so hard to accept. But he did not give up, guys. He accepted that offer and did not return to his blade. Day by day, his knowledge improved so much. He was even helping other senior mechanics and started helping big employees in their work. He was always explaining new and easy ways to others. Then slowly, his attitude and his creative skills started to get paid well. And also, people started to respect him in his company. All the employees started understanding the talent and capability of Soichiro Honda. Even the owner of that company understood the ability and capability of Soichiro Honda. Not only that guys, the owner started teaching Soichiro about his business related stops as well. And after some time, Soichiro Honda became a branch manager and successful person at the age of 22. Soichiro Honda was so much creative and innovative person. He was not even satisfied with his position because he always wanted to do something new or something big. 
because he was very much interested in making new things. Then he decided to do piston ring manufacturing which is used in vehicles. But company did not like his idea. So to fulfill his dream, Soichiro Honda again took the most significant decision of his life. He left the position of branch manager from that company to achieve his vision and his goal. Again, he started learning about manufacturing piston rings. At night, he used to learn about piston rings. And in the morning, he used to make piston rings with different materials. He used to do it regularly and he kept on doing it until and unless he did not make the best quality piston ring and fulfill his vision. Guys, after making the desired rings, he started supplies those rings to the big companies such as Toyota. Then again Soichiro Honda became more successful person. Everything was going perfectly, but his life was full of challenges. Guys, again he got a big shock when the war started in China. Most of the employees from his company had to go for the war because maximum number of male employees went for the war and only women employees left in his company. And the biggest challenge is women employees were not aware of the manufacturing process. So at that time what Honda did was he changed himself as per the situation and atmosphere. And with all his efforts he made all procedure very simple so that even women can do it quickly. Then guys again his solutions started working. Everything was going well. But guys as I said before his life was full of back to back challenges. At that time of war when other countries war planes were throwing bombs at China. Those bombs not only destroyed places in China but also destroyed his company and as well as his investment. That bomb destroyed everything but still it was not able to destroy or even to touch Soichiro Honda's belief and strength. After that with all his strength and belief Honda again gave a new start to his life. He started working again and formed his company to which he gave the name Honda Motors. This time he started working towards the desire and his dream that he had seen long back. He started his motorcycle manufacturing company. Also, he was very much interested towards racing and bikes. Then he began making motorcycles. At the start, he was not having a lot of money. Even the motorcycle he made, it was nothing. But a cycle attached with an engine, he started selling that, which was liked by many people and he started gaining profit. With that profit, he made many advanced motorcycles and the time came when Soichiro motorcycles started winning motorcycle races. Then his motorcycles became very successful all over the world and he became the biggest motorbike manufacturer in the world. But guys, his success did not stop there because he started to think making four-wheeler as well and thirds of manufacturing and making cars as well. At that time, the Department of Trade did not like his idea because as per the department, the market was full of car making and manufacturing businesses and they all were successful so they thought there would be no place for Soichiro Honda's startup. But Honda did not listen to them and as always he listened to his heart and brain and started to working towards it. So he started working on his prototype. He made such an efficient and robust model at the time which was liked by everyone and even the department liked it a lot. Similarly, he proved everyone wrong and made his place even in the car market. Guys, Soichiro Honda had some unique qualities that people usually don't have and that quality was the reason behind his and his company's success. His motorbike company has been the biggest in the world from 1959 to till now and is made the world's most combustion engine. His company's motorbikes still own many motorbikes races which was his dream too. Besides motorbikes and car, Honda also manufactures marine engines, watercraft, generator, garden equipment and even aerospace parts. And guys, behind this success of Honda Motors company goes to Soichiro Honda and his qualities. 
I guess you guys loved this story and had learned more about struggling journey and the belief system. Guys, as I always say, if you wish to do, nothing is impossible. So, subscribe now and let's change the game. Hurry up. Thank you guys. See you in next vlog. Take care and have a good day to everyone.